Yeah, well, hello. We're back at the tiny house. How's everybody doing on YouTube? Hopefully good. Um, sorry about screwing with the camera, guys, but, um, I heard a weird squealing noise when I came back here and discovered the solar panel that's in the window here, um, which is charging the internal battery in that air pump that I bought from Wish. It was whining because it was getting a tiny tad voltage from the solar panel. So what I did is I put the solar panel flat in the windowsill. I'm probably going to tape it in place to secure it. Um, because apparently that thing hasn't been charging. It was only getting partial sun. But anyway, enough about, you know, the off-grid business. <laughs> Interesting though, nonetheless. So this power pack, guys, that I recently got is quite similar to the power pack Charles gave me. And actually... I'm going to go grab one of Charles' power packs just to show you in comparison because I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Uh, whoa. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same other than the color. So, here's the gifted pack that Charles gave me. And you can see the LED lights, this micro um, chargers for the batteries on the two sides and then the outs for loads. Very similar to what's going on here. Um, though, this screen might be a different type of style. But other than that, it looks very similar. So I'm going to keep this around because Charles's power pack may be charging this camera very shortly to keep me able to be filming. Um, now one thing I need to figure out is how to get this case back off. For putting it, putting it back on I'm not entirely sure here guys so but anyway I'll get to that in a minute but the whole the whole goal of this is I want to take these um, 18650 uh, batteries lithiums that I removed from a laptop battery pack which I have two more of these sitting here and I'm basically going to use these batteries, bring them, bring some new life into them um, by making another power pack. And if all goes well, I will buy more of these power packs. And when my electrical confidence gets built up enough, I may turn these into 12 volt batteries eventually if I have access to, you know all that fun stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some side cutters and cut off these aluminum tabs disconnecting these batteries hopefully you don't hear about a tiny house fire happening anytime soon Um, because lithiums are, one of those things about lithiums are, if you don't be careful and how you charge them and discharge them, then nasty stuff happens. So I'm going to get rid of this circuit board because 
it's basically useless to me at this point in time. Um, let's go ahead and just snip some stuff off here. I'm just going to cut these uh, aluminum tabbies right off. There we go. Circuit board disconnected. Um, I don't think you guys want to be zoomed in too much. I'm going to disconnect the batteries from one another. Hopefully safely. And then I will remove all this garbage that they put on each of these. I don't know exactly what it is exactly, but whatever. So I'm going to separate all these batteries and figure out if I can salvage these for off the grid, guys. Because I got these batteries for free and I know a source in town now to get these. And it could be very interesting, depending on, you know, what this guy is going to tell me, if he's willing to part with the batteries and so forth. So, I'm going to get rid of all the junk off of the batteries, and I'll probably shut the camera off, turn some music on while I do that, chill out a little bit, chillax. And then I will turn, turn you guys back on once that's done. And we'll see what happens here, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, guys. Back again. Took a little while. Um, I don't know what it is, but I am absolutely fatigued today did a full day's work ate and I only ate once today and I think I'm gonna go home and drink some ton of water again but whatever that's a side story so I basically got all the batteries here 18650 lithium ion batteries salvaged from a laptop pack similar to what you could see here so i ended up with six batteries two four six and a pile of junk that i had to scrape off um so the aluminum uh tabs here were for the connections obviously and the rest was to hold the batteries to one another silicone or some such putty or something I don't know but it's gonna be one heck of a mess so these batteries do not have a positive and negative label on them but from my research online um, I have some there's some writing here no big deal um, so the way to determine the positive and the negative, guys, you see there's like a little indent around this top portion. That means that is the positive terminal. And the other way you know this is this circle on the top. If you can see that, the inner circle where the metal is, um, is smaller than the back side circle if you can see that there so we know that's the negative and we know this is the positive so in case you guys want to do this later or try your luck at these type of batteries in the future um, just so you guys know that's how you know um, I have this little fan blowing on me that I repaired uh, it's being quite annoying because it doesn't have its stand. So, it wants to wander on me as I it's, as it blows on me. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a strip of red electrical tape and put it around the top portion of the 18650 battery. And I'm not even going to bother labeling the bottom, but I know this is the positive. Okay, so I'm going to do that, repeat for that um, so five more times, and then I'll get back to you. Also, I still haven't been able to figure out how to remove my cover, which is kind of hilarious and annoying at the same time. But we'll get to that. The fatigue probably doesn't help. But anyway, um, I'm going to continue wrapping the batteries and then I'll show you what's next, guys.